Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, it's your boy, Simplest Tech, back with a brand new video. Um, sorry, wasn't able to upload in almost a year. Um, you know, junior year of high school. It was a lot of studying, a lot of looking at colleges. I just finished my apps. Um, I mean, it's almost the middle of the year when seniors are allowed to, quote, take it easy, unquote. You know, so I'm going to have a lot more free time to film some videos for you guys. Uh, but today's video is going to be about these suits that you see in front of you. Uh, these are the three main generations of the Speedo laser suits that have been coming out ever since like 2015, 2016. Uh, these are arguably the most widely favored brands of tech suits, names of tech suits um, in the country. Speedo is a big name. Not only in the U.S., but internationally as well. So that would be nice to compare these three generations of tech suits. Uh, let's get started. So first, I'm going to give a brief synopsis on each suit and then just show you its uh, physical attributes. So let's move these two ones out of the way. First one we got here is the Laser Pro Racer. I believe that's what it's called. Um, this was my first tech suit ever. Um, I got it when I was a freshman in high school, and when I got this suit, I like I fell in love. This suit was amazing. Um, I remember at one of our championship meets, I went. I think every single race of mine was the best time because it was my first tech suit. I just felt like I glided so cleanly, and by no means is it a bad suit just because it's a few years old. Um, I could definitely see a lot of young swimmers when they're being introduced to tech suits, getting this suit. It's a nice suit all around. Um, it's not, it won't break your wallet as much as some of the new suits from Arena and Tier. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So after many, many uses, this suit is still in pretty good condition, as you can see. Um, so let's look at the front here. I got the orange and black. That's my club team. Uh, you got, if club teams, if your club team has it, then you'll have the logo on on the right leg on the colored leg and you'll have the nice silver speedo logo on the black leg and what separates the laser pro i mean laser racer pro from the two suits that i'm about to show you is mainly that it's cheaper uh it's almost a hundred dollars cheaper from the next one and there's reasons for that one reason in particular that stands out the most is these outer seams that you will see along this suit and then also along the back. So these outer seams, they, I wouldn't say they add that much drag, but in the end, you know, tech suits, a big part of the tech suit factor of swimming is the mental game. You know, if, you, if you're putting on a suit with seams and you see the guy next to you, his suit is perfectly smooth, you're going to think that your suit doesn't go as fast. But yeah, other than the seams, um... You got the leg straps here that they don't have elastic. That's another key thing. You just got stitching here. So the Laser Pro X, you will not get elastic on the leg seams. Again, it doesn't really matter that much, but to those who love the mental factor of the tech suit, it could be an issue. Um, you got your strings here, and let's look at the inside. So I've turned it inside out, and uh, as you can see again, not to insult this suit or anything, but it's it's nothing special, you know? Um, it's not like those new brand new tech suits that have like specific weaving or stitching on each side or on certain parts that compress muscles. This is just one solid layer of just fabric. Um, you got more stitching. Just stitching, man. There's no elastic on this suit. There's a tiny bit of elastic on the on the waist, but I'm rubbing it right now. I can't even feel it anymore. It's been worn down. Oh, also another thing about this suit. One of the reasons I stopped wearing it is because I started getting these blue splotches on this blue, on the suit. And I don't know what these are from. I've tried washing them out. You know, I wash my tech suits every time I use them, which is what you should do. And they don't come off. Um, I'll show you the outside again because there's some on the outside. So yeah, as you could see, um, you could kind of barely just see blue on the outside. And I don't know what that's from. This is nothing. This is just, um, that's just dust or something. Um, you got your Finna logo, back nothing special, just straight stitching down the back. 
And one last thing before we say goodbye to this suit, let's look at what it's made out of. I don't know if you can see that. It says 75% nylon, 25% spandex. So, yeah, man, overall, this suit was pretty solid. Um, I do hold a special place for this suit in my heart, but obviously it was time to move on after I started having greater ambitions to go faster. So let's move on to the next suit. So moving on from the Laser Racer Pro, we got the Laser Elite 2. Um, this isn't the high waist, this is the regular. And this suit should be around like mid $200 right now. I'm filming this January 2020. So um, the Laser Racer Pro should be like high 100. So most of the time you're going to be looking about a $100 difference from this suit and the Racer Pro. Also, this suit does not have as many color options as the Racer Pro. Obviously, Speedo is going to be manufacturing a lot more Racer Pro since they're cheaper. So, the this has it has a decent amount of color options, but not as many as the Racer Pro. All right, so let's look at the front of the suit. So right away, you could tell this suit looks stronger. It looks like one of the, it looks like some of the top suits that you'll see today. Um, so no stitching on the outside. It's just this fabric material that's a little bit thicker over here. So it'll compress that part of your leg. I don't know if you can see on the sides right here. Um, again, you got your, this time it's black, your Speedo logo on the left leg. Um, I didn't order this suit with my team, so it has no logo, but you'll have a logo here if you have a club team. Um, you do have a nice thick band of elastic on both legs. And this elastic, I'm rubbing it right now. Um, I mean, it'll still hold your leg in place, especially when you're kind of like damp and you're putting this tech suit on after warm up in the meat. Uh, it'll hold your leg in place. You're going to have no movement of the legs. I mean, no movement of the straps on, on your leg. Um, so let's look at the back. Again, you got this extra thick band along the side. No stitching on the outside, just pure fabric. You got your Finna logo here. And in the um, groin area, this is a men's suit. You'll see these little uh, holes, which I assume are to, like if you have water trapped inside, or to just air out that part. So you're not swimming with just globs of water in your suit like when you dive in or something so let's turn it inside out now so turned inside out you could see that this suit is a lot more well built than the racer pro as you could see this fabric and this fabric are different the black is a little bit thicker it feels like it's double layered while this is just a single fabric and having that double layered area over here i think really adds to you know the compression and how firm it feels the Elite 2 isn't supposed to be that compressive. It's supposed to be moderately compressive. But if you like compression, I think you're still going to like this suit. Um, no stitching. It's just these bands that are made of these thick plastic that's not going to break. Turn it around. Kind of the same deal. You got your Speedo logo across the leg, which I think looks really nice. And you got your information right here. And yeah, man, Laser um, Elite 2. It's a great suit. This is the suit I was using up until my senior year of high school. Um, this suit's been through many meets, and it's still it's still kicking. I could still see myself wearing this meet. Um, they're wearing the suit at some of the lesser meets, you know, club meets. But um, for my sectional races and hopefully for states this year, uh, I'm going to have to elevate. So now I'll show you guys the last suit. Get this out of the way, and finally, we have our Laser Pure Valor, the latest addition to Speedo's line of laser suits. Uh, they released two, uh, as everybody knows, they released the Pure Intent and the Pure Valor. The Pure Intent is meant to be kind of an evolution of the Laser uh, Racer X, which was very compressive 
and this is supposed to be an evolution of the suit I just showed you, which is moderately compressive, built for distance swimmers or just swimmers who don't like their legs to be, their muscles to be locked in place. But yeah, man, the suit is brand new. Uh, I just got it shipped last week. Uh, it's not been used yet, and I still have the box. Let's take a quick look. Got it from Swim Outlet, which is where I got all these suits, except for the club one. Uh, shout out to my people at Swim Outlet. The box is really nothing special. It wasn't like as in depth as the Tier Venzo, where it had magnetic clips and, like you know, a bag and a bag tag and instructions. This just gives you just some sizing. Light, flexible, fast. And let's open it up. Oh, also, extra shout out to my boys at Swim Outlet. I think I got like a $25 gift card when I bought this suit, which I'm going to put towards my new pair of goggles. So Swim Outlet got a bunch of great deals. You should check them out. That's just stuff on different images. All right, let's put this aside. And look at the front of the suit. So Speedo gave you three colors. Well, first, they gave us two colors. They gave us just this all black, and then they gave us this reddish pink color. And they just released a third color, which is the aqua green. It's like green kind of turquoise, and I think it looks really cool. But you know how I went pink and red with my Elite 2, and I really liked the way that looked on me. I think I looked kind of intimidating, so I had to go with the pink again. Pink is a man's color. So... Um, you'll see some stitching here that kind of resembles the stitching on the Elite 2. It's almost exactly the same. You'll see on the sides here, it's in almost the same location. It looks to be a little higher up. Um, the Speedo logo is over here, like right on the top of the left leg. So you won't get any logos down here. Um, inside, this is obviously brand new, so this is... It's still quite sticky and grippy. It won't come off if it's new. But this elastic looks to be a little bit better than the ones that I received when I first got the Elite 2. So hopefully that'll be better. And you got your... You got two strips of... Um, not elastic. Um, like sticky plastic on the waist. So this ain't coming off your waist or moving up or down during your race. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, catching water when you dive in. Also, I don't know if you could tell, you got kind of this thing that resembles like giant like sewing threads. And I'm guessing that's to reinforce the waist, which is a good plus. Um, straps are, I mean, the strings are like metallic gray, which I think would look awesome. And now let's look at the inside. So again, kind of resemblant of the elite 2 i have it here just so you could see you got these straps you got kind of the same straps except they come from up here um but you also have straps down the inside of the leg which you didn't get with the elite 2 so those are great you got the same speedo thing that for some reason i really like um also we have ditched the holes there are no holes on this one maybe they're on the outside i'll check later um, so yeah, the, uh, back looks a little different. Here you just have one little block of text. Here you have two. One is just instructions on how to keep it. This is the uh, size and stuff. And yeah, same composition actually as the Elite 2. 65% polyamide, 35% elastic. And again, you got a lot more thick reinforced plastic on this one than you did with the Elite 2 which I'm guessing is just because they evolved. Strapped on the middle, and yeah, let's get the back. So yeah, man, the straps uh, more or less resembling the Elite 2. You got your uh, plastic on the side, which you also have here. You have down the middle. But again, the plastic on the inside of the legs, I think, will be a huge help. And I was right, we have ditched the holes in the groin area, so... That's your final logo, and yeah, that's about it for this suit. So yeah, now that we've looked at the composition of all three suits, I'm going to do a dunk test on each one. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little uh, one-sided to a certain suit. Not 
naming it just because these two suits have been worn before. But uh, I know you guys would still like to see how they repel water since that's a big factor in a tech suit. So uh, let's do that now. So I got my three suits here. I got my bowl of water here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each suit submerged completely in the bowl for 15 seconds. And then I'll take it out, shake it off and see if it's absorbed any water. Um, I don't really see the point in doing like a pouring water on it because it, if it you're just pouring on it, it'll probably just, you know, just slip off. It has to be the dunk. All right, so we'll do this one first. This is the Eraser Pro. One, two, three, going in. And um, I'll do a minute actually, and I'll I'll cut I'll cut it to when it's been a minute. All right, guys, so it's Laser Racer Pro has been in for a minute. Let's do one last dunk and let's take it out. Let's give it one more good shake. And yeah, this is what I meant, guys. As you can see, this suit has just had it um honestly after a minute being submerged i don't expect it to be completely dry but this suit looks like a raincoat it's just absorbed everything um it's because i've used it so many times but yeah if you're this is the cheapest suit so if you're gonna pay like a hundred what 180 something dollars um you know i don't expect it to compare up to the pure intent pure valor you know tier genesis uh carbon flex you know it's a great suit, but if you want a suit in that tier, you're going to have to pay up a little bit more. So let's put that to the side and let's do this one. All right, same drill. It's going in there for a minute. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, it's been a minute. Let's take it out. Give it a good shake. So right off the bat, um, I know that this suit has lighter colors, so it might look more wet, but comparing it to this, which is absolutely sopping wet, this is not. This feels a lot lighter than that, even though this has more plastic. Um, if you look, it, it's absorbed a little bit. Again, this suit has been used before, so you know how suits get those, like, certain spots where they'll just start absorbing water, like, right here, right here. But, I mean, other than that, this suit has definitely performed better. Like, look at the back. It's, like, it's damp, but it's not what that was. So, yeah, let's move on to the final suit. All right, so this suit's obviously going to come out a lot better than those two because it's never been used. It's a brand new tech suit. But, yeah, let's not wait any longer. Let's put it in for one minute. See you guys then. So, it's been a minute. One last dunk. Let's take it out. Oh. Shake, shake, shake. And, yeah, this suit has absorbed nothing. <laughs> it's literally, there's bad lighting here. Cause I'm in my kitchen, but if you look closely, you'll just see water droplets. Yeah, good, it's focused. You'll just see water droplets that just, they come off when you shake it. On the back, same deal. Just droplets that just slide right off. This side isn't even wet. Um, inside's kind of wet. But obviously that's just because this is a new suit. I'm sure that in a few months it'll be roughly on par with the Elite 2. But yeah, man, so far, brand new, fresh out of the box. After a minute being soaked in water and not being completely wet, it's a great suit. And um, yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in after such a long time. Hope you got something out of this video. Uh, I'm super hyped to race in the Pure Intent. I think Speedo's made a really good suit that uh, holds up against all the other brands of suits. And uh, yeah, man, also I got this dome cap a while ago that I've only used at sectionals and I'm gonna use it this year again. 
I think with this cap, this suit, and these goggles, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a presence. I'm gonna be scary looking. Uh, yeah, my goggles aren't Speedo. They are actually Arena Cobra Ultras because. I don't know, I just don't really like the way the new Speedo goggles look. That's just my opinion. Also, these are smaller and my eyes are kind of small, so... Yeah, these are a good fit for me. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, comment any questions you might have. Uh, I'll start being active again, you know, maybe a couple videos a month. Once school's out. And I also will be making a college acceptance reaction video, because I know those are really trendy at, during this time of the year um i mean not this time of the year in like a few months in march and april so expect that coming out and yeah guys uh have a great day thanks for watching